guys welcome back to top pops <laughs> i'm just kidding that's one of my favorite channels that i like to watch though so. one of my favorite uh it's kind of coincides with uh what we're going to be doing here today uh, i missed you guys welcome back to my channel i know i haven't been uploading lately uh it's just been one of those years so it's gonna be a slow end to a slow year for filming. Um, maybe next year processes will pick up, who knows? Honestly, I don't care. I don't make plans. I'm not a future thinker, so deal with it. Thank you for watching, if you do anyway. <laughs> um, to all of you who support me and worry about me i'm doing fine right now working on my health is a big issue uh, i'm struggling with my weight so uh, that's why i've been kind of laying off the mukbangs even been kind of deciding where i want to go with my channel and kind of where even maybe changing the name and taking off the mukbang part because maybe i feel like i started this channel with mukbangs because i felt like Eating was the only thing I was good at. And I think a lot of you could probably relate to me on that. And I really just don't want people to think that eating is all I'm good at. <laughs> and I kind of want to do some different things. I want to learn how to edit and maybe make some funny shit for you guys to watch. Because I think the thing that I'm really good at is making people laugh. So... I really want to learn how to edit videos and um, make some like funny shit for you guys to watch basically because I think about it all the time and it drives me nuts that the only reason why I don't do it is because I don't know how to edit videos. So I'm going to talk to some friends of mine that know what to do on the computers and we're going to work on that, some editing skills. So maybe next year we'll have some different kind of content coming at your face. Who knows? We'll see how it goes. But today we have a special kind of um, like special like toy upload purchase kind of thing. I did some Black Friday shopping. I did some pre Black Friday shopping. So I got some really cool stuff and I just kind of wanted to show it off. So check this out. And I got a package today. So we will be opening up some mail. Excitement. All right. So uh, we're going to start off with this. I'm a real big Hot Wheels fan, if you know me. Um, I, I've i sold a lot of my collection over the years, um, and uh, I just kind of started getting back into collecting again so I can rebuild the collection that I've that I've gotten rid of over the years. And I, you know, and I didn't want to get rid of it on purpose. It was it was because I kind of needed the money, so I had no choice but to sell my collection. Unfortunately. So now I'm in a better place and I'm, I feel safer that I can slowly start to recollect and maybe invest my money in some other things, you know, because collecting is a good investment, especially when you do hit a hard spot and you need to get rid of some things to help you out. It is kind of helpful, but also in the process, it's one thing that feeds my addiction is toy hunting and comic book hunting. And it's something that just makes me feel so good you know so we'll start with this hot wheel that i picked up the other day that i thought was really badass because it's a new line for 2019 hot wheels this is their marvel line their new line and if you see this is a wolverine one i love wolverine it has these um like claws on the front and it's these have like action it says with extending adamantium claws. So I guess when I put, if I took this out of the package, which I won't, these claws, I'm guessing, move in some way, which is pretty cool because the most uh, Hot Wheels don't do that. You know, they just roll. But what well, the one I'm looking for, which I will be looking for, that I didn't even know existed, Let's see if I can get it to focus. This is the obvious one that I'm looking for, the Spider-Man with the web shooter. I saw the Gwenpool the other day, but when I was there, I really only had enough money to buy one, so I picked out the Wolverine. But they also have Captain America, 
and Thor available. But when I was there, they only had those two, so I picked out Wolverine and went on with my day. Great find, but, you know, that wasn't at, like a sale. That was just like their regular price. But I just wanted to show that because that's something new that I added to the collection. Now, <clears throat> something I did get on Black Friday that I will go ahead and show is um, these chunky Star Wars Disney Galactic Heroes called Mega Mighties. Now these are 10 bucks a piece at Family Dollar. I found them. Normally Family Dollar doesn't have cool stuff like this. There's a Chewbacca and a Darth Vader. And these are just freaking cool. I mean, look, they're so big. And they're like cool details. They've got little accessories in there with them. Um, Darth Vader's got the lightsaber in there. That's pretty cool. Chewbacca's got his gun. Or the... I think it's the rock, the crossbow rocket launcher thing. Grenade launcher. You guys are gonna kill me for butchering that. But aren't these cool? These were 10 bucks a piece at Family Dollar, but on Black Friday I got both of these for $12. So that's a really good deal. I was super excited about these chunky action figures. I'd never seen them before, but they were like super cool. And they're kind of like for little toddlers, but <clears throat> <clears throat> They're great for collectors, too. I mean, those are just really cool, so I wanted to grab those. Another thing that I found on clearance right before Black Friday are these really cool It Chapter 2 action figures. I got the regular version of just him smiling in his creepy face, and then the variant with the face open in the deadlights. And what's really cool about these guys, I don't usually keep price tags on my products when I'm reviewing them, but because we are doing kind of Black Friday sale prices, I will show you what I paid. So this one is regularly $14, as you can see. Uh, oh, I'm not trying to flip you guys off. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Anyways, it says here $13.99, and I got it for $4.18. So that, my dear, is a great deal. That's $10 off. That's a really good deal. And these, so I got these for four bucks a piece and it looks like there's, on the back there's, so I got the Deadlights and then I got the Pennywise and then there's a I Love Dairy Pennywise and a Bloody Pennywise version and an assembled diorama set on the back as well. That's the other ones. It would have been really cool to get the Bloody one. But I'm happy with the Deadlights, you know, that I at least got a variant. You know, and it's such a great deal. Eight bucks for both of these, like, and the only thing wrong is that one of them has this little bit of a curve at the top, but I mean, you really can't beat It Chapter 2. It is one of my favorite movies, or one of my favorite things, even the original TV-made version, but um, yeah, that was a really great find. I was excited about that. Okay, so... A few weeks ago, <coughs> I was doing some online shopping on Facebook, and I like to shop around, so like some of these things are different, like I picked this up at Walmart, the Galactic Hero Star Wars, we got those at Family Dollar, these were found at Target in the clearance section, so I'm a move around shopper kind of person, and then this stuff that I'm about to show you, I got on Facebook right before the holiday. <coughs> Excuse me. This is, I just started collecting Funko Pops, and I have a thing about the bigger ones, like the 6 inch, the 9 inch, the 10 inch. I'm like obsessed with collecting those. Those seem to be rare, and I just, I want, I want to mess around in the Pops section, but I don't want just any Pops. I want like Chases, I want rare Pops, I want big 6 inch, 9 inch, and 10 inch Pops. So I'm going to show you the ones that I already have because these are really cool. All right, so these, this is a Walgreens exclusive, and this is one of my favorite characters in Marvel, we all know, and it's pretty badass. This is a six inch um, Spider Hulk. Check him out, bro. He's buffed up. I don't take my pops out of the protector, or out of these boxes. Actually, I will get some protectors for most of these, and for the ones that I have coming in the mail that are chases. I have a Miles Morales Black Friday chase coming in the mail because I wasn't going to go spend 150 bucks on 
um, mystery boxes just to get the one chase that I wanted. So I spent 30 bucks online and got the one chase I wanted. One, you know. So he's coming in the mail. Should be shipped in a few weeks. <coughs> but yeah, this guy's awesome. The box is in pretty good condition too for getting him for 20 bucks online. There's like a slight cut on the top of the box like I don't like that I think that's pretty fucking retarded excuse my language and then there's like a couple scuff marks on the front of the box it looks like but other than that it looks pretty good it doesn't look like it's damaged in any other way now my next box this also this pop came in the same package on Facebook I bought from this guy and I bought both of these pops from him and it was like the only thing in his collection that I saw that I actually wanted. But he was selling tons of pops. And these are the two that I got for a pretty good deal. You know, I played PPG prices, but um, really for what I bought, because I really wanted it, that's okay to me. Now, once I finally got it in my hands, I noticed there was some things wrong with the box. But I wasn't going to be like, oh, dude, no, I'm not doing the deal. Because I really, 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 really wanted this. The box is damaged a bit and bunged up. And I kind of screwed it up a little bit more pre-video. Because I was trying to fix the stupid only at Target store um, sticker at the bottom. But that didn't work. So, <coughs> without further ado, we got the 10-inch T-Rex Funko Pop. Check him out, baby. He is massive. His head is like as big as my head. Look at that, guys. Isn't that cool? I know the glare sucks, but you got to deal with uh, a collector like me that doesn't take their their things out of the box. See, I try to get it at a good angle so you can see it in the inside there. He looks pretty cool, dude. Fat head. And the back of the box, there's other characters like Blue... And Claire Deering, Owen Grady, the Indoraptor, and the Stigmalock. I don't know how to say that. But anyways, not too far. I want blue. That would be cool to have a blue or an Indoraptor in 10 inch. But they don't have those yet, I'm sure. But like I was saying, there's some things that are wrong. Like here's where the only at Target sticker is supposed to be. It was peeled off almost to non-existence. I tried super gluing it back on there, but... As you can see, if, I mean, if you could see, there's super glue all over my fingers. And it's because I was trying to get the sticker. I can tell the reason why the sticker bent up was because there's some damage here on this corner of the box. I don't know what happened to create this damage, but it caused the sticker to peel up and that's what made it fall off. And I was trying to fix it, but... Got frustrated because the super glue wasn't working so I just took it off and said screw it and eventually I'll probably clean this super glue off with some nail polish remover or something just to clean the box up a bit but I can do without it only at Target sticker because it's kind of obvious duh this is only at Target well this was everybody knows these specific ones were only sold at Target so it's not like a big deal it's not like I'm gonna sell this guy anytime soon but anyways some more damage on the top of the box we got this big looks like a puncture hole and then obviously you can tell this guy must have already opened this and took him out of the box because the tape has been obviously removed so even though whoever I bought this from took him out of the box well so obviously as you can tell he took him out of the box um I'm not gonna he's still gonna stay in here I like to keep my guys nice as possible, and it's safer if he just stays in here, especially with me, because I'm clumsy in the house. But yeah, he's really cool. Moving on, um, a couple of weeks prior to getting these two guys, I stopped at Vintage Stock, and this is something I found at Vintage Stock for a good price. It's one that I was wanting, and it is the 6-inch Voltron. Look at him and all his glory, guys. He's a colorful guy. I'm a huge Voltron fan. You can tell I'm also a big color lover. <laughs> I like colorful things. One of the main reasons why I bought this is because I freaking love Voltron. And I used to collect the Voltron toys as a kid and as an adult. But when I sold my collection, a lot of it left. 
because that stuff sells, <laughs> especially the vintage stuff I had, you know. But, you know, out of this set for Voltron, this is the best character because all the other ones are just like the people characters. And when it comes to Voltron, I really just liked the robot part of it and like building the Voltron itself. I didn't really care for the characters that controlled them. So, but moving on. Um, all right, so right before the holidays, shopping sprees for everybody hit, I bought something at full price just because I've been having a rough week and I decided to buy myself something because I was, I, it's holiday season and I'm making good cash, so why not? So I splurged at Target and I got me a 10 inch Spongebob. He's so cool guys. He looks so cute with those little eyelashes. And look at his little happy cheeks, you know. He's got his little hands on his hips. I love Spongebob. He is one of my favorite cartoon characters. If anybody knows anything about me, they know I love me some Spongebob. Um, on the back of this box, you can see there's some of the meme Spongebob characters. I guess that's like the meme versions. Pops of them, those aren't 10 inch versions. But the 10 inch line is really really fun for me to get into i'm super excited to start collecting these giant awesome figures because i'm a huge like figure collector so like i'm just excited that funko has finally made a line that i can get into and that i can really start getting into you know and if they keep going with these 10 inch things like i'm gonna keep going baby i mean there's only a few that i have so far but i'm gonna keep collecting them because i just really enjoy this part of funko and maybe i'll continue to get into other parts of funko but this part of funko is what i really like right now and the last funko item that we're gonna look at is black friday funko at walmart they had 10 inch Deadpools, but I didn't know, unfortunately, until late Saturday night, which is two days after <laughs> Black Friday selling at Walmart happens. So I unfortunately didn't get the one that I wanted, but I still got one. <laughs> so we'll look at the one that I got. We just got the regular red Deadpool, but he's still really cool. I wanted the gold one, obviously, but that's probably going to be, or the gray one. That would have been cool. But the red regular is still totally awesome. Deadpool's one of my favorite Marvel characters. We all know this. Um, he's, this is the one version of him holding the gun with the thumbs or pointed at himself. He's like this guy for hire. But anyways, that's the 10 inch Black Friday Deadpool in the house only at walmart i definitely was excited to get that even though i didn't get the one i wanted because i didn't know until really late unfortunately that they were doing this but i haven't been studying black friday shopping and toy sales lately because i wasn't expecting to even buy anything it was just kind of a splurge you know at the moment and I really wasn't expecting to buy anything because that's literally the only thing on Black Friday that I bought except for the Star Wars character that I actually bought like for Black Friday weekend because I got that for 25 bucks. That's a good deal for that 10 inch Deadpool pop. But the family dollar deal with the $12 Galactic Heroes. Yeah, those are the only ones that I actually bought on Black Friday. I think it was actual Black Friday. <clears throat> now I got mail call we got something in the mail from ebay that i ordered last week i won an auction i believe so we're gonna see what came in the mail because these are also some toys i hope you guys are enjoying the video careful because I don't know where the position the toy is in here. All right. Let's see. Okay, let's get a sneak peek. Oh, it's just on paper. Okay. Let's see. 
item oh cool it's gizmo from ducktales this is so cool it's all it's let's open it up let me set this down for just a second <clears throat> keep away from small children i wonder if this is supposed to stay so i'm not gonna add let's take it out i don't need to keep it sealed like this we're gonna take a closer look. Cool. <laughs> it's so fresh and new. Nice. This is Gizmo Duck. Oh my god, guys, that's so nice. Look how cool he is. DuckTales. Woo! <laughs> okay, guys, let's try for another one. Let's see what else we got here. This is a three lot. Okay. What do you got? Oh, nice. Launchpad McQuack. That is a score. Boo -boo. Baby. condition this is so cool these are the newer models though these are the let's see if i can find the actual year this was made i'm pretty sure this is the 2019 stuff 2018 maybe i don't know it's not it doesn't have a, a year on the back that that's strange maybe i'm just not looking hard enough but that's that's pretty cool. Launchpad McQuack. Huh. It's so cool that this is made by Funko. Isn't that nice? These are Funko products. That is, and this is one of my absolute favorite TV shows, Darkwing Duck. That's really, really cool. <clears throat> okay, moving on. Last figure. What do we got? Oh yeah, baby, Scrooge McDuck from DuckTales. This is cool. This is really cool. See, it doesn't, I can't see. For some reason, I just can't find a, a year on this. It's strange. Maybe I'll look it up online. Scroogey Scrooge. His eyes are weird. Oh, because he's, oh, that's actually cool. He's got his little glasses on in the front there on the end of his duck bill. Isn't that cool? And of course they have little accessories in there with this little money bag and cane. Man, what a great toy haul. Oh my gosh, my goodness, guys. Toys. <laughs> All right. Well, that's enough toy madness. We can gush over awesome things another time. I believe this video has run its course. Um. Thanks for watching, if you're still watching. Uh, I think I have another video coming up soon because um, I have um, an entire case of Kinder Eggs coming. So we'll do a video on those and we'll just open those and then maybe we'll do a mukbang too with that because that's kind of like a candy, so, you know. <laughs> Well, I hope you guys had fun. Um, happy holidays to you. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, and Christmas is coming, so look forward to that. we got some videos coming up. You guys have been great. Thank you. Stay awesome. Stay safe. And we will 
play with toys or eat again. <laughs> Bye.